Hi, I'm Deepa Joshi. In this video, we are going to see how to test GP load outside power center. What is GP load? GP load is a data loading utility that acts as an interface to the Greenplum database's external table parallel loading feature. What is Power Exchange for Greenplum? Power Exchange for Greenplum provides connectivity between Power Center and Greenplum database. When the Power Center session runs, the integration service writes the data to a named pipe and uses that as a source to load the data into the Greenplum target by invoking the GP load bulk loading utility. This utility can be tested independently outside Power Center. Let's see now how to do it. We need to run the Power Center session in verbose mode. For that, the override tracing attribute need to be set to the verbose data value. Once the session completes, we need to open the session log in workflow monitor. Scroll down in the session log, copy this YAML text into a notepad and save it. This will be our control file for the GP load test. In this control file, we can see that the source file is a named pipe. Replace this with the actual data file. The control file has Greenplum database details, user credentials to connect to the database, the source file path and the actual Greenplum target table name. The mode of operation is insert here. I have now replaced source file with the actual data file name. Using this load specification defined in the YAML formatted control file, GP load executes a load by invoking the GPFDIST program. This is a Greenplum's parallel distribution program. External table is created based on the source data defined and executes insert, update or merge operation to load the data to the target table. On the Power Center server console, go to the directory where GP load executable exists. Invoke this utility by executing the command as shown GP load minus F yaml.txt that is the control file name minus l log file.txt that is the log file name minus v for verbose logging. Please make sure to provide the complete path for control file and log file. We can open the log file to check further details. GP load has invoked the GPFDIS program. External table is created based on the input data defined. Data is loaded into the actual target table from this external table. We can see that GP load succeeded by inserting one row. Thus, for the Power Exchange Greenplum sessions to run fine through Power Center, we should make sure GP load works fine outside from the same server box where Power Center server is installed. Please note that there can be other reasons behind the session failures, but this can be considered as a basic test to isolate the issue. We would love to hear from you at the addresses shown. Thank you.